What's going on guys? So I'm going to be applying a foam latex prosthetic today provided by RBFX. Um, just going to just, you know, take do one take of this, run you through exactly what I do to apply a prosthetic. Let's get this thing going. So right now I'm just putting it on the face to make sure it's going to fit to line it up where I want it. And now I am actually putting Prosade on the pro back of the prosthetic right now going really thin what you want to do is you want to put Prosade on the skin and put Prosade on the back of the prosthetic Prosade is a contact bond uh, And it will make a better bond if you put it on both I'm just putting it on the back of the prosthetic because I'm not gonna have this prosthetic on for long at all today All right, so I let it dry on the back of the prosthetic. I lined it up I put it on there and now it is semi-attached in some places um, so what I'm doing here is I'm brushing a little bit of zinc oxide around the mouth to dry out that area. Zinc oxide is going to prevent it uh, from, uh, it's actually going to dry it out and prevent the prosthetic from coming off her lip. Any kind of stress point like that that's going to have, it's going to have moisture, um, like whether you're sweating or not. You might want to put a little bit of zinc oxide on there. At least that's what I do. So right now I'm just painting the back of this prosthetic a little bit more with some Prosade, which is the glue that I am gluing these prosthetics down with. And I'm not super like waiting for it to dry or anything. I'm just sort of just going pretty quick at this. This is a quick demo um, that I did for applying a foam latex piece. So I'm just doing it very quickly. I, it's not going to be on for a long time, so I'm not going to uh, try to glue this thing down forever. <clears throat> All right. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just lifting up pieces um, around the edges and applying some Prosade and then laying it back down. So as you can see, I'm lifting up the lip right here, putting a little bit of Prosade up under there. I'm using a Delium's tool brush right there that is a bent liner brush but I use it as a glue brush so right here I'm going over the edges you can see how I'm just slathering some prosade on there around the edge if you um, if you put prosade on the edge of a really thin um, um, edge on a prosthetic on a foam prosthetic it is going to absorb through the prosthetic and lock your prosthetic down that said you want to make sure that you have glue over the entire prosthetic up under it at least. Um, you want uh, to have it all glued down because if somebody's making a face with that prosthetic on, you're going to get some weird wrinkles uh, in that prosthetic if it's not completely glued to the face. So make sure you're careful and you glue the whole thing down. I have made the mistake of not gluing some of it down and um, getting some weird, weird uh, wrinkles. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just uh, applying a little bit of powder around the eyes because I just put glue around the eyes. You want to make sure that you do not glue the model's eyes or eyelids or eyelashes. And so this prosthetic does not fit her. Check that out. I'm actually ripping some pieces away. So I just ripped some pieces away to get it off of her hair. And I'm just going to prosate it down for now. I'm going to go back over it with uh, some Bondo in a little bit. Alright, so looks like I am touching up this lip right here, trying to get it laid down. I usually try to do the lips last when I do a makeup so that uh, they're not constantly talking with it and it's not coming off. Alright, I got a little spatula right here with some Bondo and I'm just smearing some Bondo on it to sort of ramp it up to hide that really harsh edge. I mean, it's still going to have an edge there, but her hair is going to cover most of it up, so it's not so bad. What I'm doing here is I have a little sponge with a little bit of Prosade on it and I'm sort of texturing around the prosthetic. So I'm adding a little bit of texture around the prosthetic just to sort of blend it in with the, uh, the face a little bit better. I just added a little extra piece right there because I was getting a weird wrinkle when she made a face. So uh, I just put that little extra piece up there. And now I'm adding some PAX paint because with foam latex pieces, you need to seal it with PAX paint, which is acrylic and um, prosade mixed together. So I applied it to, I actually did like her flesh tone 
a roundabout flesh tone on her. It, it actually matched her flesh tone pretty darn well. So now I'm going in with an airbrush and I'm just doing some sort of wide strokes with an airbrush, just making it look sort of irritated with some lividity by PPI. Uh, the colors, it's like a purpley red color that I'm going in with called lividity that PPI makes. And I'm just making it sort of a little irritated just as a beginning um, step. Now I'm going in with a little bit of lividity spatter. I'm actually spattering from my brush right here, giving it to an overall infected look with a little bit of red spatter. And now I have lividity again, and I'm actually going in on the big lumps of uh, the cauliflower looking stuff. And I'm adding some, a little bit of lividity in the grooves. I'm actually using a really washy uh, lividity, a really washy alcohol based uh, makeup. And it sort of just goes into the grooves and sort of highlights all the the crusty cauliflower wart looking um, prosthetic and little areas. All right, still just stippling a little bit of that uh, lividity all around. And lividity is made by PPI. So my favorite color to use when I, you know, really no matter what I do, I, I really like Lividity. I think it's a great color. And I'm using a little stipple brush right here, just uh, absorbs, it's a kind of a, a more pointy stipple brush uh, by um, v -Nil. It's one of v -Nil's favorite stipple brushes. Now I'm using a uh, Delium Tool uh, stipple brush, a little bit wider stipple brush, stippling some colors on there from one of the PPI palettes. I'm probably using the uh, Necromania palettes, one of my favorites. I use that one a lot. All right, now it looks like I'm going over the wart areas, which uh, this right here is a technique called dry brushing. I have a little bit of pigment on it with not a lot of alcohol, and I'm sort of just brushing it over the high points. You know, because I just filled all the grooves with lividity. Now I'm going over with more of like a dead flesh, a rice paper, one of those colors. Uh, maybe like a bone color to sort of give it that uh, wart-like look. Of the more wider, dry look. All right, going in with a little bit more airbrush. I think I'm spattering right here. I'm, uh, I spatter a couple of layers on here. I do some more lividity. Um, to blend the flesh tones in with the skin as well as go over it with a lighter sort of dead flesh to sort of pale it out a little bit to give it a little bit of an ashy look. Um, so right here I'm using actually a, a liner brush to put a little bit of purple uh, up under her eye and around her eyes to sort of match the other, other eye. Her other eye has a little bit of purple in there. So, and I'm trying to blend in this prosthetic around the eye as well so I'm just putting a little bit of purple in there. And now this is the final product. Check it out. That was a really quick makeup, really quick video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure you ask me. And that is the simple way to apply a foam latex prosthetic. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.